Hi guys, and thanks for clicking that little thumbnail to take you to this video. Here we're gonna, I'm going to explain to you what exactly runes and masteries are, and pretty much the spells and, and various other things. So, let's get right into it. When you first start playing League of Legends, like you are right now, you're not going to have any of these. Okay, you're not going to have any runes, you're not going to have any quintessences, which are the purple ones. You're not going to have any of these. As you progress and level up, you're going to, as you can see here, as you pro progress and level up, you're going to start unlocking him. For example, I get a, another yellow slot unlocked at 22, and there should be one over here at 23, and one down here at 24, do you see? You'll start to unlock them as you level up, as you progress up. At level 30, you will get your third quintessence finally unlocked. Now, again, as I said in the previous video, a lot of people will tell you don't bother spending any of your IP, your influence points up here, on any other uh, uh, any of the, the, the runes until you're at least level 5. Now, the reason why they say that is because at such low levels, to them, it doesn't make any difference. I say meh. I started put buying runes instead of champions because you forget you get seven free champions each week well i started buying runes immediately and i did notice a big difference between how i played then to how i play now and what i mean by that is uh, just if you take a stock player level one with no runes no quintessences no no nothing just the, the bare basic spells which we'll cover spells here in a bit. And compare it to a champion who has bought a seal of armor or uh, a mark of attack damage or even a, a, a quintessence of attack speed. I'm going to attack you faster. So my basic attacks are going to be faster than yours. So we're the same champion. Say, say, we're, both, say we're both misfortune. Okay. We're both top lane. I'm going to be able to attack you with my ba basic auto attack a lot faster than you will because of my quintessence. So you got to think, are, are you in this to be a casual gamer? If so, then don't worry about this section. If you're in this to, to be um, a competitive player, and I'm not talking like MLG League, like freaking uh, Diamond, Platinum, whatever. If you're just a, a fan of streamers like Brofisto, Gross Gore, myself, uh, Ankle Spankings, stuff like that, then yeah, you know, uh, uh, tweet at them, DM them, ask them. You know, I I like playing, um, I like playing um, Alistair. Okay, let's just use Alistair. I like playing Alistair. Do you have any tips for me? I'm gonna look at you and say honestly, I don't play Alistair. And yes, I do own uh, uh, the Alistair Minotaur skin. I, I I'm just gonna look at him and say I I don't play Alistair. I I couldn't tell you, but. From what I've read, he's a tanky build. And that's when I say, I'll say to you, go to a website like Mobifier and type in Alistair builds and you will get builds. But those builds are meant for you to be a level 30 summoner and have all the quintessences and everything else all played out. Okay? This guide is for you as you're up and coming. Not that you've already got... not not. Why, why would you want to learn how to play the game after you've got to level 30 and already played the game when you'd rather learn to play the game before you play the game? Do you see what I'm saying? Hence, that's what this video series is for. So what I would suggest you do is... Now, again, I don't work for Riot. Yes, there is a little Riot video clip at the beginning and intro. I do not work for Riot. Riot doesn't, doesn't own me. I, I, you know, I don't work for Riot. What I suggest you do is invest a little bit of money in the game buy yourself some right points i showed you how to do that uh in the, the main master video and then what you need to do is go to the bundles section champions bundles and buy the starter bundle it's 400 it's 530 ra uh, uh, right points which i believe is about five bucks if that there you go five dollars so for five dollars, okay, think about it. You go to Starbucks and get a, a mocha frappe or whatever, or go to Subway and get yourself a freaking sandwich for more than five bucks. Okay, so for five dollars, okay, 
go in, you'll get a couple of really good champions. You get Ash, Rise, Annie, Nunu, uh, Warwick, uh, Master Yi, Garen, Shiva. An IP booster and an XP booster for under five bucks. Okay? So you've got yourself some really good starter champions that you can start working with. That they're, they're introductory champions to their classes, i.e. Ash, who's a marksman. Uh, see, marksman slash support. Yeah? And then you've got Ryze, who is a mage slash fighter. Uh, I wouldn't suggest you go fight. I just, just suggest you use him as a mage. Annie, of course, who is a mage, flat out. Nunu, who's, of course, a uh, support slash tank. Uh, then you've got uh, get, uh, Warwick, who's an assassin. Fire slash assassin. I use him as a jungler slash ganker. That, that's the best way to play Warwick. And Master Yi, of course, who is the assassin class. Uh, who does have some really cool looking skins. I've got to give them props when it comes to Master Yi. They have come up with some really gorgeous skins. For some reason, I'm really digging this one. Saying I already ha I do have the Assassin Master Yi skin. Only because it reminds me of uh, uh, Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell. But anyway... Um, and you also, you know, you get Garen, who's a good tank, tank, you know, fighter slash tank. So you can build him tank, you can build him support, you can build him fighter. And of course, Shivar, who's a marksman. Uh, 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 I'd say the next step of marksman compared to Ash. So like I said, you do get some really nice champions for your five bucks. Okay, so you've gone ahead, you've bought, you've bought your Riot points, you've bought your champions. Okay, so again, you're supporting Riot. And, and, and yeah, it's five bucks. Now come on. And so as you're playing, you'll realize, oh wait, this Garen build that I linked uses marks of attack damage. So you buy one mark of attack damage, which you unlock at level one. I believe it's level one. And ta-da! See what I'm saying, guys? Do you see what I'm saying? It's not hard. Okay? And then as you level up, level up again, you look at the guide. Oh, seal of armor. Boom. Oh, look. A, 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 a glyph of magic resistance. Boom. Done. You see what I'm saying, guys? You start building your portfolio as you're leveling up. So by the time you get there, you're level 30 now. You know how Garen plays. Think to yourself, okay, now I'm going to experiment. I'm going to build my own Garen. I like this build. I, I like how it's tanky and everything. But it also relies on Ignite, which is a spell. And I'll get to the spells in a minute. Which relies on Ignite to, to finish off, or if not my ult in, if my ult is on cooldown, and I get ganked, I'm fucked, oh no. So you start tweaking your builds and everything else, do you see? Now, Masteries. Again, as you level up, you get one Mastery point per level. Grand total of 30 points is what you will get. And as you can see, I have multiple Mastery pages. By the way, there's no limit on how many Mastery pages you can have. But there is a limit on how many Room pages you can have. Okay, so just FYI there. There used to be no limit. I know people that would just go ba 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 and have like 30 rune pages. And each rune page was for each specific champion that they only played. You can do the exact same thing if you want to. Um, but like I said, this is where you will want to think to yourself, okay, I'm a slow, for example, Garen, I'm a slow melee soldier. So you want to put points in Fury, get your attack speed up. Or you might want to put points in, uh, uh, um, in Unyielding. Flat armor and magic resist bonus, or recovery, extra health that he regenerates every five seconds, with the exception of Garen's passive ability. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? Always, always, always update your runes and your masteries every time you level up. Okay, again, some people say don't bother until you're level five. I say scratch that. You know, again, I've done that. I, I've 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 ignored it, and I've paid the price. I I. I seriously got my ass handed to me even by the bots and then i was like you know what screw it i've got five points let me spend them boom and i spent them and i noticed that my misfortune was attacking faster you know you actually physically see it okay so don't be afraid to experiment experimentation is key how the hell do you think metas are formed and built and destroyed by people experimenting so experiment, okay guys? Right, now, onto the spells. As you can see, uh, level one, you will get Clarity, Ghost, Heal, and Mark. Now, Clarity, right there, restores 50% of your champion's maximum mana, also restores your allies for 25% of their maximum mana. This is a really good, good, uh, uh, um, 
spell to take if you're planning on only playing a mage like Rise or Twisted Fate or, or, or champions that have very high costing mana abilities. Okay, usually the way Riot balances stuff out is quick cooldown, high mana cost, or low mana cost, long cooldown time. There's never really a, a, a skill or an ability that I've ever seen that has low mana cost and quick cast time. I just, I just don't. Simply because I want to go, oh, ability power, boom, 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 and just one shotting everyone left, right, and center. You know, looking at you, Nunu. You know, and stuff like that. Uh, Ghost that will let you walk through uh, minions. And like I said, it'll let you walk through minions, both enemy and your own. Uh, so if you're constantly, if you're a marksman like me, and minions are stopping you from from getting that fucking getting into range to get that one final blow off, most people take ghost, walk past them, dead. Uh, heal does exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, you hit it off, and it, it heals your champion for anywhere between ninety to three hundred forty-five health, depending on your champion's level. And it gives you a movement speed for one second. So, you know, if you've just been hit with a sl with a slow or a snare, and you know a Warwick or a Master is about to gank you, pop the heal, whoop, and then I usually pop a heal and then pop a flash. You know, pop, pop, two quick teleports out the way. Uh, Mark, of course, is if you, is if you only coolly plan uh, on playing support or, or jungler. Reason why I say that is you throw, uh, in this case, a snowball. When it hits the enemy, it leaves them marked. And you can quickly teleport to them, you know, because you'll see them on a mini map exactly where they go. Even if they're out in, in a fog of war, you'll be able to see them. Okay, so I know a lot of assassins actually do like used to mark when it first was introduced was OP as fuck because a lot of assassins like Rangar, uh, Jungle Warwick would totally use mark and freaking uh, flash or teleport just to screw you over. Now. Barra, you get that level 4. Basically, it's a small shield that goes anywhere between 115 to 455 damage, depending on the champion's level, for 2 seconds. I honestly feel that this is very underused. So, for example, if you play uh, Morgana, Morgana does have a, her own barrier ability as well. So you can double barrier. Boom, boom. You know? It really, really... And, and her one makes you immune to slows, stuns, and snares. That one will reduce the damage. So, if, so for example, say a Master Yi is about to jump you or gank you. Okay, you pop the barrier, pop the other the shield. Guess what? Warwick's freaking uh, 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 ulti does nothing to you now. Won't slow you down, won't cause you to bleed, won't do nothing. So you just go barrier, hex, teleport, uh, uh, flash. Done. You know, Warwick's wasted his ulti, Warwick's wasted a failed gank, and then your assassin can count the gank. Stuff like that. Uh, exhaust. Now, exhaust cause target enemy champion reducing their movement speed and attack speed by 30% and their armor and magic resist by 10 and their damage dealt by 40% for 2.5 seconds. I know of a lot of tankers, uh, 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 for example, Alistair, Garen, uh, Malephite, that do actually take exhaust in, in, in PvP, not PvE. The reason why is, for example, say again, and I am keep going back to Warwick and Master Yi and, and, and other gankers, um, and, uh, uh, and uh, Teemo, you hit them with that, they're slow as hell, they've got no armor, and they do bugger all damage. That's what you get in. Uh, 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 uh. Again, exhaust is a skill that, that a, a lot of junglers will take to, to, to slow down their other jungler. You know, because of course, when you go jungle, they're going to have a jungler, you know. Now, cleanse is the opposite. It removes all disa uh, dis disables and summoner spells debuffs affecting your champion and lowers the duration of incoming dis disabilities by 65% for 3 seconds. That is good, especially if you've got, uh, say for example, an Ash, um, a Cho'Gath, um, or you know, just a, a champion that has a lot of stuns and slows and snares. Um, again, I don't, I, I, again, Cleanse has fallen off on the wayside. Uh, simply because of like, ninja tabbies and a whole bunch of other boots that they basically do the same thing but passively. Uh, teleport. This is being overused in the current meta right now. Um, basically, after channeling for 4.5 seconds, teleport your champion to the nearest talent at uh, structure, minion, or ward. Uh, again, this is good for, for junglers who want to gank but have recalled back to base to buy an item or something and they see that there's a big push coming somewhere. You know, and they say, oh, there's a ward right there. They can teleport to that ward, come up behind them, gank, 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 dumb. He's got a pentakill. See what I'm saying? 
Uh, but again, it is being overly used by a lot of people just trying to level up because they just think, oh, I'll get right back to the lane as fast as I can, keep minion farming, keep minion farming, keep minion farming. And again, it is being overly used and it's being used incorrectly, in, in all honesty. Uh, Flash, again, this is a go-to skill once you hit level eight, same as Ignite and Smite. Now, let me explain. Flash, simply because it's a literally get out of shit free card. If you're being ganked by two or three champions and you can't take the the, the, uh, the incoming damage, okay, you just go F because my, my flash is set to F. Go F, boom, and you're out of their range for a couple of seconds, okay? Especially if you've got allies on the way, okay? You just flash or you flash over a wall or, you know, just to get, just or flash closer to your turret just to get away from them to, to get you a bit of respite or reprieve so you can pop a heal. Okay, or a, a pot, or your or the heal skill, ignite and and, and, and um, smite. These are used mostly by junglers. Okay, ignite again. The Garen build that I was playing, that you saw in the previous video, was using ignite to offset the fact that he just didn't have the burst damage to one shot an enemy target without his ulti. Now, to me, that's a sign of a failed build. I'm not disrespecting uh, Deathwalker 1, the guy who came up with the build. It's a wonderful build. You saw me play it. You know, it is an interesting build. Although mine wasn't a complete build because I'm not level 30. Okay, again, I'm not a level, I'm not level 30. I don't have the complete build. But I ha I'm level 21, 22. So I'm, I'm about 60% there. You see what I'm saying, guys? So, and I was still struggling. You know, I was still struggling. And so again, ignite. Ignite's uh, target enemy champion dealing 70 to 140 true damage, depending on a champion's level over five seconds. Grants you vision of the target and reduces healing effects on them for that duration. So if you're, again, a lot of people don't tend to take ignite in PVP, they tend to take it in PVE. And that's mostly because the bots tend to take potions or just magically have a, a, an insta heal in their lane i've noticed that even when i hold tab and i'm looking at their equipment and they don't have healing pots all of a sudden how the fuck did that that annie just heal or how the fuck did that ash just heal they're not carrying pots you see what i'm saying so you know a lot of people take the ignite to fuck over the fact that the bots cheat in pve uh, smite again this is a skill that is used mostly by junglers to help weaken um the enemy to, to help weaken uh, the, the mobs to get the, the, the red buff, the blue buff, stuff like that. The dragon, the, the baron. Uh, I, I personally don't use it. I, I, I don't use smite. Uh, deals 390 to 1000 true damage, depending on your champion level, to a target epic or large monster or enemy minion. Restores health based on your maximum life when used against monsters. Like I said, it's used mostly by junglers because junglers will get in there, start blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm at low health. Smite. Oh, look, now I'm back at the full health. Ah, uh, and I've got the buff. So, again, uh, smite is mostly used by junglers. So, if jungler sounds like a, a class for you, you'll start to really get to become a good jungler uh, uh, at summoner level 10 because that's when you'll have smite. It's when you'll have, uh, um, you know, flash. And a lot of people as they're leveling up to become a jungler will take heal instead of smite you know so again you know it, it, until they hit level 10 and then they drop heal for smite so there you go uh, so that's the spells guys and how and, and the situations and when to use them things like that we've explained the masteries and we've explained the runes and how to use them so again guys thanks for clicking on this little video i'm sorry it went a little bit long but you know i had to explain some stuff to you to you noobs out there uh until then guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give the video a thumbs up i greatly appreciate it. if you're new around here please hit, hit that subscribe button for more league of legend content as well as other games uh, there is playlists on my channel if you're interested in heroes and generals war thunder world of tanks various other games uh, even the division please go check out those videos until then guys keep your shows flying keep your enemies down your cover commander is out and i'll see you guys in the rift until then guys take care and i'll see you in the next video bye bye